Today, I prepared a video introducing the best mods of the week that you must install. I prepared mods that you guys will definitely like, so please watch the video until the end. Then let's start. The first mod to introduce is the Breda M9A3. The Breda M9A3 is a standard of the 9mm class of sidearms. Created by the Italian company Beretta, the M9A1 replaced the American classic, the Colt 1911, as the standard issued sidearm of the US military. The more modern A3 iteration features tactical standards while improving upon the reliability of the classic military issued sidearm. This mod is very immersive and high quality with unique sounds and animations when you draw a pistol or reload a magazine. Besides, this mod also has nice gunshot sounds, supports the AMD mesh and tactile reload patch. You can craft this pistol at a chemical workbench. It uses 10mm bullets by default, can optionally be added to the level list, or used as a replacement for the vanilla 10mm pistol. This is a nice pistol mod with great sounds both compensator and silencer. If you're looking for a tactical pistol replacement, I recommend giving this mod a try. The second to introduce is Workshop Vanilla Idols mod. Workshop Vanilla Idols is a mod that allows settlers to decide which idols they will be in through a workshop. A total of over 60 types of idol are available, and you can select Idols Work, Idols Relax, Idols Emil, and Idols Others. Unbond is required to craft this idol. In order to create a more natural settlement, it is necessary to use natural idol for the settlers as well as the buildings. Until now, all settlers always used the same idol, which felt a bit robotic. So, now give your settlers a natural and immersive idol, and build a better settlement. The third mod to introduce is Corby's 191 Nightmare Tactical Defense Atom Pack. This mod aim for to add two guards, two muzzles, two stocks and flashlight to Kobe's 191 rifle. As it is an add-in, the quality of the added mods is quite good. If you enjoy using the Kobe's rifle, give this add-on a try. If you try to modify it at the weapon workbench, there are many modification options. And the modification option with Nightmare in the first letter is the modification option added by this mod. The fourth thing to introduce is the Cyberpunk 2077 G58 mod. This is a rifle that I introduced in a showcase video a while ago. The mod adds G58 Diane and Linglong from Cyberpunk to Commonwealth. The characteristic of this mod is that it has almost perfectly implemented animations, sounds, and designs used in Cyberpunk. When actually pulling out the rifle, reloading, and retracting the weapon, the animation used in Cyberpunk is displayed as it is. Cyberpunk's Smart Link function is also applied, making it a great rifle with guided bullets. So, if you enjoy playing Cyberpunk along with your usual pullout, give this rifle a try. The fifth thing to introduce is Tumba Jamba's Synth Power Armor Mod. This mod adds a brand new Synth Power Armor to the game. The armor is highly customizable and has a lot of different add-ons and variants, with unique stats, effects and appearance. The concept of this mod is to motivate the player to invest time and resources into upgrading and customizing the armor. Therefore, the basic synth power armor is less advanced, an optically very simple version of the power armor. And, you have to upgrade to have synth power armor in full power. Unfortunately there is no power armor workbench in the pharmacy. You can find one in nearby Red Rocket Station, the merchant also does not sell any power armor frame. However, you can purchase power armor parts from that synth. The sixth thing to introduce is the Shinjin Mark V Smart Gun by Arasaka Mod. 
The Shenzhen Mark V is a smart gun fully automatic that fires 45 caseless guided ammo at enemies. The overall look and sound aren't bad. However, the reload animation is a little disappointing. But if only this animation could be replaced, it would be a really cool gun. This gun is also has smart link function added like the rifle mod I just introduced. The bullet has a guidance function, so you can hit the enemy conveniently. Therefore, this mod is also a recommended mod for players who enjoy Cyberpunk 2077. The seventh one to introduce is Next-Gen Parallax Textures mod. Basically, Parallax function must be activated to use this texture, and to enable the Parallax function, you must use the latest DNB. This texture mod revolutionizes the textures of common lot lands. Because it is a texture mode for Parallax, it greatly enhances the three-dimensional effect. Personally, I'm sure it's the highest quality texture mod currently. This is a must-install mod for your Fallout's graphics to go next-gen. The eighth thing to introduce is Luxor's Stonewall's 4K Parallax mod. This mod is high-quality texture replacer for the Stonewalls and Stonewall caps. Further included new Parallax and LOD textures. Also landscape textures for Far Object Landscape Improvement Project are included, which requires obviously landscape generation to match the new textures. Since this mod is also a texture mod for Parallax, it greatly enhances the three-dimensional effect. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. I made changes to the scene the character describes. If you have any suggestions for the video in various ways, including this, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, subscribe, like and notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. See you next time.